Hi guys, I'm Irene, this is Perpetually Paperback, and today I'm doing a book haul. As always, before we get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe for future content. I release videos once a week. So today, normally I don't do book hauls because I don't always like my boyfriend to know how many books I'm buying. Not like he doesn't edit these videos, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so, but more than anything, it's like, I'm the kind of person that if I give myself a list of like, this is what I have to read, it makes me want to read anything but that. So I, I this basically, most of this bookshelf is my TBR, but I wanted to share a couple of these with you guys today because I'm so excited and you're definitely going to be seeing them coming up later this year throughout, the, or throughout this year on the channel. So the first one is, this is a birthday gift. I have my, my birthday's in December, and obviously Christmas, I put a lot of books on the list. I'm gonna go through them today. Let's get started. Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. This is his memoir that just recently came out. So I'm super excited to read this. I've heard a couple of excerpts. I've read some excerpts from it just myself, like flipping through it. And it's just got a really cool vibe. I'm really excited to hear what he has to say. I might also listen to the audiobook on this one just because, are you joking? Matthew McConaughey narrating his own book? Yes. After that, I want to talk about The Magic Fish by Trung Lee Nguyen, and this is a young adult graphic novel about a boy who I believe is coming out as gay, but stay tuned. I'll let you know. Also, the book is just absolutely gorgeous. Next on the list is Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart. This was obviously the 2020 Booker Prize winner. And for some, for whatever reason, I have been dying to read this book. This book, more than any of the others, just seems like it's going to be so good. Obviously, if you can't tell, I like a book that's going to emotionally destroy me, as I've heard this does. Um, but anyway, so this one will be coming out very soon. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> Fun fact, for some reason, okay, so I obviously like paperback books. I very much prefer them but I didn't realize that I put some large print editions. So when I pull this out, I'm like, why are the words so large? No, I apparently asked for all these large print books because I am super blind. But anyway, this is How Much of These Hills is Gold by C. Pang Zhang, Pam Zhang. And it is the story of two siblings who are carrying their dead father's body across Vietnam, I believe. That's, I think as much as I know about it. And just if you're not familiar with my channel, I don't necessarily like to find out too much about the book ahead of time because not only do I not like spoilers, but if it, if I don't want to, if I already know what's going on, it's obviously not interesting. And then I have no desire to read it. And as you can see, I have a whole book of, or a whole shelf of books that I have not read. So it's not helpful. Next, I have Ocean Wong's On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. I believe this is like a a letter written to his mother, I believe. I've heard really mixed things about it, but I don't know. It's it's pretty short and I just don't, I don't know. I don't know why I wanna read this so bad, but anyway, I picked this one up. And that was actually an awesome find at my local secondhand bookstore. <laughs> then I've got Lindy West's Shit Actually, and it's a definitive 100% objective guide to modern cinema. These are essays on popular movies that we basically grew up with. And she's kind of taking a look at them, seeing if they held up or not, and if they held up in 2020. I think she wrote this during quarantine and I've already read some of them. It's, it's hilarious. So for the ones that, for the movies that I haven't seen, my boyfriend and I are actually gonna go through, watch them so I can get a little bit of context on the actual essay itself. And I'm, that's gonna be great. I might vlog this one, I'm not sure. Next, I have another memoir. This is David Chang's Eat a Peach. David Chang is the owner of Momofuku and many, many other things. Um, he does Ugly Delicious on Netflix. Uh, I followed him for a very long time. He used to write a, or I, he was one of the creative partners in um, Lucky Peach, which was like a food periodical. And I've just, I followed him for a long time. Obviously I like a lot of food memoirs. I'm, I just, this is beautiful.
Next, I have Hidden Valley Road, Inside the Mind of an American Family by Robert Kolker. And this is the story of an American family with 12 kids, six of whom were diagnosed with schizophrenia. And so it's a look into, a, an in-depth look into schizophrenia and what this, what we were able to learn throughout, through science because of this family. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. I've been trying to get a hold of this one for a while and finally I found it at my secondhand bookstore. Literally snatched it up in a second. So I'm, I don't know why I, this is so interesting to me, but I've got a couple of nonfiction ones that, man, I'm excited about. Can we please talk about why? Just why? I haven't figured out how to, how I'm gonna take that off yet, but it's, you know it's killing me, so yeah. Okay, so this I think might be my most anticipated book of this year, just because I, I, I knew I was gonna prioritize it for this year. It is Ken Follett, The Evening and the Morning. Uh, this was, so I recommended Pillars of the Earth to my friend Mindy, and I, I believe she's starting to read through it. I started another read through, but this is a prequel to Pillars of the Earth. Another one also that I got, like, large print. Who knows why I did that, but at least maybe I'll be able to read it while I'm on the treadmill, whatever. So I, I'm, I'm almost scared to read that. I don't want something to happen in that book. I don't want to not, I don't want to have my thoughts of the series altered by this book. That's why I'm so scared of it because I'm definitely the kind of person that will question, no, that's not true. I'll just take it out and assume in my mind that it is not canon to that series, but it, it's set before, and it's set, I believe, in the Dark Ages. So he's generally bases, he, it's a historical fiction, um, but usually what he does is he connects characters from one story to another. I don't know why I'm so concerned because literally I just, I can't get enough of his writing. I loved the series. I have several of his book. I just, I loved it so much. So short of him completely ruining it for me, I am expecting great things from that. Anyway. So those are some of the books I wanted to share with you. Some of the ones you are going to see on my channel coming up. Um, they're covered over here, but I've got some big plans for some February reads with some books that you haven't seen either. So stay tuned for those. And as always, if you made it to the end of the video, leave me an emoji, say hi. I'd love to chat with you.